You know, when the market softens, people start trying to figure out how to add value to their real estate because if it's gonna decline in value, they fight against it and they wanna bring it up in value. Why? Well, if you bought it and you need to sell it, you don't wanna lose any money on it. So I thought, you know what? There are a ton of things that you can fix up on your house that will give you no ROI. In fact, you'll lose money if you do them. But there are five things that you can do in particular that will give you a fantastic ROI. There's five things that you can do that will massively increase the value of your home. So I'm doing a little addition on my house right now, like a little 25,000 square foot addition. And you better believe that this will cause the value of my home to go up millions of dollars in value. But you know what, even when building a home, there are some things that will massively increase the value and there's some things that will actually drop the value. Now, not everyone is building a multi, multi-million dollar estate, but we're gonna come inside today and I'm gonna share with you for more typical and average size homes, five things that you can renovate that you'll definitely make money on. So today we are gonna talk about how to maximize your home value and maybe you're just trying to figure out how to make your home worth 20 or 50 or $100,000 more, or maybe you're trying to figure out how to invest in the game of real estate and make a lot of money the way I do. Whichever it is, make sure that you slam that subscribe button because I'm always giving you hacks on all wealth building, all business building, but especially real estate. All right, here's the first of five renovations that you're definitely gonna get your ROI on. It's the kitchen renovation. Updating countertops, cabinets, appliances, and fixtures can typically yield a return on investment of around 70 to 80% above the project cost. You take a look at this kitchen right here, and this is a Wolf appliance. And if I drop Wolf in because it's befitting to the neighborhood, or I put on these really nice marble countertops, when you start saying, well, shoot, I dropped $30,000 in this kitchen. What is a 70 to 80% ROI? It means that 70 to 80% of that 30 grand is about $20,000. By dropping 30,000 in, I'm going to increase about $50,000 worth of value. So updating the kitchen, that's always a number one go-to for me when increasing the value of a home. Number two, let's talk about renovating that master bathroom. Renovating bathrooms with modern fixtures, improved functionality, and a more beautiful aesthetic can generally result in additional ROI between 60 and 70%. So again, if I were gonna put $15,000 in the master bath, that might give me 60 to 70%, maybe add six or 7,000 more dollars of value on top of that. When you're gonna buy and sell something, anytime you can add an ROI of 60 or 70%, that's smart money spent. Let's talk about number three. This one surprises me a little bit, but it probably shouldn't. It's energy efficient upgrades. Installing energy efficient windows, LED lighting, smart thermostats, and efficient appliances will not only reduce utility costs, but may also appeal to higher value tenants. And if you see this wall right here, I mean, it's just wall o windows. They spent $400,000 on windows in this house to make them especially energy efficient. Obviously for the discerning buyer in a neighborhood like this, that's something that's actually quite important. So you may wanna consider what are some of the energy efficient upgrades that I'm gonna put into the property. Also, it just gives it that really nice modern feel and vibe. Number four, curb appeal. Now, this is my view, it's not the curb. You can't really change the view. You can change what the front of your house looks like. Improving the property's exterior appearance through landscaping, fresh paint, and enhanced entryways and well-maintained gardens can easily give a 50 to 80% ROI, according to Open Door. It's amazing how like a 401k or an IRA that doesn't perform well produces five or 6%, and we do that all day long. In real estate, you'll notice that I'm pointing out the things where ROI is somewhere at least between 50 and 80%, which means all in all, I might put $30,000 or $40,000 in the house, but I might be increasing its value by a total of 60, 70, or $80,000. The fifth upgrade that we're gonna talk about today, it's flooring upgrades. That actually made the top five. Ripping out old carpet and replacing it with hardwood, laminate, or tile has one of the best ROIs of any home renovation. Home Light says that this is gonna land you somewhere between 70 to 80% ROI. Now, those are the five things that will definitely make the deepest and most impact. And I think it's important because there's a lot of people that will actually put money into the home for their own needs, but it's actually not appropriate to the neighborhood. Let me give you this number one hack that helped me make a ton of money in real estate. Have you ever heard the term overbuild? 
or over renovate. It's this idea where you can't keep within budget because you're making choices based on what you think would be nice. You went through a nice magazine, you fell in love with some interior design, and now you're just riding money left and right for something that you think is beautiful. I got news for you. Unless you're living there, it really doesn't matter what you think is beautiful. It depends what the market thinks is beautiful. By the way, if all of the houses in your neighborhood have laminate flooring, if you put in extra money into hardwood, you won't get ROI out of that because the perceived value for the neighborhood is laminate flooring. Just like if I spent $100,000 on a gold, solid gold toilet, it doesn't actually increase the value of the home $100,000. It might increase the perceived value, but not the actual value. That's why these five hacks are tried and true proven and they're important for you to lean into and then be aware of anything else. Now you may be watching today's video because you're a real estate investor or you wanna become one and you're like, Chris, I wanna make sure when I renovate a property, whether I'm flipping it or I'm gonna buy and hold it, that I do the right kind of things. So if you're looking for a fixer upper, there are some pros and cons. Here are the pros. You're gonna get a lower purchase price. Like you should get a deal on the property. You get to choose where your money goes, which can be a good and a bad thing. You have less competition because most people are looking for a house that's done up, ready and right. And then whatever you do, you have the potential of greatly increasing the value of the home. However, there are some cons to be aware of and one final hack that you're gonna love. When you're trying to increase the value of an investment property, there's a couple things to be aware of. You can go over budget and most people statistically will because they get emotional. And I gotta tell you, you fall in love with the numbers and the balance sheet, not what your eyes actually see. No two remodels are the same. You sometimes get limited financing options. There can be unexpected issues. You might actually walk into the house and find out, oh my gosh, there's termites. I didn't know when I bought this old thing that I have to deal with that. And now all of a sudden there's an extra X thousands of dollars that I'm gonna have to pay to get rid of those and fix some of the flooring. You've got long-term construction, which sometimes takes way longer than you thought. And this can be really stressful at times unless you're an expert in this space. This particular game is for a seasoned investor or someone that feels called to it. But if all you're really trying to do is make money in real estate, but you'd rather be hands off, check this out. There are ways for you to invest in real estate passively. Did you know that you could put $50,000 as a down payment into an investment property? And if you find one that performs at 25% annual ROI, 20 years later, that compounds into $4.3 million, comprising of a portfolio of probably dozens of homes. This is something I help people do all the time. In other words, there's the easy way and there's the hard way. Some people love the hard way. They're like, no, I need to swing a hammer to feel good. I need to drive to Lowe's and Home Depot and pick stuff up. I need to vet tenants. Or there's the done for you approach. And I got news for you. There's always a game in real estate where you can be totally hands off. In fact, if you've got money sitting in a 401k, an IRA, equity in a home or savings and you've thought I want to become a real estate investor, definitely click the link below. Learn about partnering up with me. I'm going to take my $2 billion track record and together I'll do 100% of the work. We'll split the profits equally. If that sounds good to you, click the link below. Learn about that. Connect with my team because if we partner, I give you my cell phone. I get to train you. I get to mentor you. and We're going to make millions of dollars together. You gotta be aware of flipping houses in 2023. There are some funky things happening in the market and most people don't understand these dynamics. There is a way to successfully invest in real estate and win and make more money now than you normally could, but flipping is extra dangerous for certain people. And if you wanna know why, click right here and let me show you.